Okay, so we've healed Ember up, and now we're gonna go look at another base. This one is 21k defense power. It does reduce the damage of fire element dragons, which unfortunately Ember is a fire element dragon. Um, so his damage will be a little bit reduced, but it's only by 1%, so I have a good feeling that will be okay. And I'm gonna look at this base and I'm gonna see, oh, there's only one blue mage tower on this long island. So I can use death gaze to my great advantage there. And there's a red mage here. So if necessary, I can use cloak. And we're gonna see if he can handle this. Oh, I've gotten rid of the attack reduction totem, so great. So I'm gonna take that mage out first, right off the bat, I'm gonna cloak. Take out some of these ones. Ah, Ballista hit me, it's okay. I'm just saving up some rage right now to prepare for the next island. And I remember that I gotta take out my mage tower first. Not too shabby. Okay. Definitely cloak and death gaze. Very clutch spell combo. So I really can't recommend that highly enough. Um, Enki was one of my favorite hunters, and he had Cloak and Death Gaze as a combination, and um, at that level, especially when you compare it to the other dragons in that tier, so handy for, for wars and for just setting up bases. Our other hunter dragons in the purple tier are Dactyl, Borg, and Daemon. Um, Borg was definitely my favorite amongst these ones. Dactyl was okay, but he had Havoc, which again, that's a three rage spell. He was he was never my go-to dragon. Borg definitely was. He had Lockdown, um, which is a really powerful tool, and Havoc. Damon just had Self-Destruct, so he was, in my mind, fairly useless. Uh, we've got some warriors here. Gog and Arboreus obviously were the standouts to me in terms of warriors. Um, Gog just because he had explosive shield and he was pretty good. Arboreus obviously because he was an epic and similar to Kanara, he was a cut above the rest of the purple tier ones. Um, and we had Merc, <laughs> who was a sorcerer. How Ember compares to the rest of these dragons, particularly the hunters, um, he's, he's much more useful than like 90% of your purple tier dragons. So at this tier, absolutely, like one of the best. If I were still playing at this tier level, I would say Ember would easily be my favorite dragon. And we can do another um, another attack to just see how he, how he fares. All right, so I wanna test Ember out on a base that's quite a bit above his um, level of attack power. So right now I'm looking at level 48 with 60, almost 68K defense power. And when boosted, Ember is still only at 26k, but he's got a really good spell combo, and that can make all the difference. You know what? I might as well do that. I'll waste a can and resist. And I'm gonna try and play this one appropriately. So let's see how he does. And of course, base layout is very important. Um, so you always wanna pay attention to the placement of these towers. So I am leaving this totem here and allowing myself to build up some more rage before I get to the next island, which is gonna be very important. So I'm gonna take out that mage immediately. out that blue mage. 
Oh. Jump the gun on that one a little bit. And I'm just gonna build up some rage a little bit and keep this from hitting me. I'm gonna destroy it after I'm out of its range. That's why Cloak is a very um, effective and awesome spell. <laughs> and why it comes in handy so much of the time, one of the many reasons. And um, so I'm a big fan. Cool. All right, so we basically took out a base that was about three times my boosted attack power without any real trouble. As you can see, um, you know, he handled it really well. So keep that in mind. At that tier, he's he's one of the few who can really hit that high. I don't even really remember Aboreas hitting, hitting that much above his level. And I'm sure that I mean, that, that wasn't very difficult, as you saw. I got through it with at least a third of health left, if not more. And without really doing any planning or, or attack strategizing, um, it, was, it was just me kind of going through and, and winging it, if you'll excuse the pun. So he's very easy to fly, and he does a really great job. So now I'm going to go ahead and train him up and he's gonna get evolved to blue tier. So now he gets his archer resist. So, let me evolve him. Oh no, I gotta get myself some more food, hang on.